Donald S. Lopez, Jr. is the Arthur E. Link Distinguished University Professor of Buddhist and Tibetan Studies in the Department of Asian Languages and Cultures at the University of Michigan. In the Tricycle magazine in the summer 2022, this well-known scholar answered four questions. One, when did Buddha die? Two, what are the origins of Mahayana Buddhism? Three, what are the origins of Buddhist Tantra? And four, why did Buddhism disappear in India? Part of the reason I like Dr. Lopez and his work is that he does focus quite a bit on the Lotus Sutra. And I do have another video that comments on his book that he wrote about the Lotus. I'll put that in the description for this video. But in his answer to the question regarding the rise of the Mahayana, he says, we do see, for example, the Buddha being exalted in ways that he had not been before. He becomes a more deified figure in some of these texts. The Lotus Sutra says that his lifespan is immeasurable and that he didn't really pass into nirvana. The Bodhisattva, originally a rare figure who vows to liberate all beings in the future rather than becoming an arhat, supplants the arhat as the ideal. Philosophically, impermanence is sometimes displaced by emptiness, and the idea of detachment is no longer discussed so much in terms of the foulness of the human body, but in terms of everything being like an illusion. The whole idea of no self is challenged with the notion of Buddha nature, and we see the presence of different Buddhas, Amitabha being the most famous, each with their own Buddha field, their own pure land. So this is such an important development, and it provides uh, perhaps some contradictions in terms of understanding what is the relationship between the earlier form of Buddhism and this later development uh, around 100 AD. Well, I'm going to leave that for another day, but really what I wanted to focus on was his comment at the end of this article, where he indicates that students often ask him whether he thinks Buddhism is true. I'm going to share what he says here, which can be startling and yet, in a way, very profound and amazing. He says, quote, I tell them that I think there are at least two things in Buddhism that are factually accurate. One is that death is certain and that the time of death is uncertain. The second is that everyone wants happiness and does not want suffering. I ask my students to think about those two statements and consider what follows from them." Close quote. Well, I, I think quite a, quite a bit about this. You know, as I get older, which I am old now, I'm in my 70s, mid-70s, I think a lot about death, and I think I've indicated that in other videos. And the fact that it will occur <laughs> is no fun to, to contemplate. Um, you know, we do have a tendency to want to deny this basic truth that Buddhism emphasizes. And of course, the fact that uh, the time of death is uncertain is another major uh, source of worry, anxiety, uh, as the Buddha might say, lamentation. Uh, and so what do you, what do, you do? What, what, what is one to do? Uh, this is where Buddhism in its various forms can provide uh, answers, uh, whether it be in the context of, you know, various kinds of Theravadan approaches or uh, in the Mahayana, whether we have a more devotional approach and rely upon other power uh, with a notion that we will be reborn in a pure land when we die. And of course, we do. We want happiness and we don't want suffering. And so, what what do we do again? It's it's hard to uh, it's hard to know. But uh, but I find myself just blathering here, and so I'm going to close this off by just repeating uh, Dr. Lopez's statement that he that he says are the two things that Buddhism can establish as being factually accurate. One is that death is certain, and that the time of death is uncertain. The second is that everyone wants happiness and does not want suffering. So maybe I'll end this with some variation just as I pull it out of my memory banks of the Metta uh, Sutra, where it says, May all beings be happy. Namo Mita Bots, Namo Mita Bots, Namo Mita Bots.